Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting it all done. We're gonna do some laundry, some vacuuming, mopping, cooking, just some general tidying up around the house. And I did do a little bit of a grocery haul that I'll show you guys here in a minute. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. All right guys, so I did a little grocery pickup this morning at Walmart. We've got some bread. Chocolate chips. I'm going to try to make some chocolate chip cookies this week. Apples. I've got my son's baby lotion. Bananas, avocado, broccoli, some greens, some baby food, some coleslaw mix, bottle of wine, green beans, bell pepper, salami, country sausage, eggs, chips. I've got Activia probiotic thingamajigs, some salad dressing, got some butter back there, some kimchi, some baby yogurt, and some LaCroix. If you guys like LaCroix, this flavor, hibiscus, is so good. Um, it's my favorite right now. So if you guys are LaCroix fans, definitely check that flavor out. Or if you guys have a certain flavor that you love, let me know. So this is our little grocery haul. I'm gonna put this stuff away. I've got lots to do today. We've got some laundry. We've got some vacuuming. We've got a little bit of cleaning here and there. Uh, just tidying up around the house. So let's get started. All right guys, so here is our to-do list. I'm hoping I can get all of this done today. We'll go ahead and check them off as we go. I love having a to-do list, it just makes the whole process a lot easier, less overwhelming, and I love the satisfaction of checking off those little boxes when I'm done. Let me know in the comments if you guys do the same. All right guys, and while we're getting started here, I want to mention that this video is an open collaboration video. I will go ahead and link the playlist link down below. If you are a new YouTuber and have similar content to this video, please feel free to go ahead and add your video to the playlist and let's help each other grow, let's support each other, and um, let's help meet each other. I mean, I would love to meet new YouTubers who are starting out who have similar content like myself and um, help promote their channel as well. So go ahead and check that out after you're done watching this video. Okay, so we are first starting off in our master bedroom. We are making the bed. I just washed these sheets. I do like to start in my master bedroom when I'm doing a general tidy up around the house just because it's one of the easier rooms to clean. I keep it really minimal and it just starts the day off right when my bed is made. I know a lot of people say that, but it really is true. I feel so much better when my bed is made. I feel more productive. So here I am getting the sheets on, getting the mattress protector on first, then the fitted sheet. I am not very good at making beds. I know that is bad for a nurse to say. I should be like really good at making beds. I should have hospital corners and all that. But that was just not one of my areas of expertise in nursing school. To this day, I have to apologize to my patients because I'm always telling them like, hey, your bed is not gonna be that great, but they usually don't care. <laughs> Just a little uh, fun fact about. Okay, so here I am just getting my nightstand sorted. They get really dusty, they're black, so they, you can see everything. And there is a lot of dog hair on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up with some Mrs. Meyers multi-surface, mixed with a little bit of vinegar and distilled water, and get this nightstand all cleaned up.
getting the vacuuming done upstairs in the upstairs hallway. Uh, Luke woke up from his nap at this point and my husband had to start getting ready for work. So he decided to join me and I had to confine him into this chair thing because he is just everywhere. As you guys have seen probably my previous videos, he just likes to get into everything. So just to keep him in one place for five minutes, I just have to sit him in this chair and strap him in. He does not like it, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so now we've made it into Luke's room. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum, pick up his books, tidy up in here. I really needed to vacuum behind this chair, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out, give that a good clean, and try and keep him busy while I do this too, because I know this is not very fun for him. I do sometimes change his diaper up here on top of his changing table, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this gets really clean. Um, I do use the Mrs. Myers and Vinegar Multi-Surface Spray, um, but I let the vinegar sit for a few minutes to make sure it kills all the germs. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that down with a damp um, microfiber cloth and we'll get that nice and clean. Okay, here is the end result for Luke's room. Nice and tidy, nice and clean. Ready for him to destroy it in a matter of minutes. Okay, so this is later on in the day when Luke was taking his second nap. I went ahead and got all the clean laundry, put it all out in the living room, and decided to just tackle all this folding. I do like to sometimes do this. I'll put a show on and just kick back and just mindlessly fold laundry. I'm being productive, but I'm also relaxing. So it's kind of nice. Uh, I did get all this laundry done during his nap time and I was able to do a few other things too, which was nice.
Okay, so now we are getting the stairs vacuumed. I just can't believe how much dust and dog hair accumulates on these stairs. I usually have to clean them twice a week, if not more. Um, I like my mopping slippers because uh, I can come and kind of wipe them down before I vacuum, and that way I can get most of it, um, or after I vacuum, whichever. And it kind of helps um, when I'm mopping the stairs as well. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I use these mopping slippers a lot. I'll go ahead and link them down in the description below if you're interested in buying them. I got them off of Amazon. They're great. I do use my wood floor cleaner on the stairs. It works great. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I mix water, vinegar, and peppermint oil with lemon oil to make my wood floor cleaner. You guys can see how disgusting my microfiber cloth was after I got done mopping these stairs. So gross. Okay, so next we are getting the baby food that I made for my son prepped and ready. Um, he really loves green beans. That's probably his favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and get these ready. What I do is I clean them first. So I'm going to use some vinegar and water and um, soak them for about five minutes and then I chop the ends off and I will steam them and puree them. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and you guys can see how I get this done. Okay, so after they are done in their vinegar bath, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off really, really well. This is the strainer that I use in the Instant Pot. It's like a steam basket. So rather than wash a um, strainer and wash this, I just go ahead and use this as the strainer, which works out perfectly. So then after they are washed, rinsed off, I cut the edges off, I'm going to go ahead and steam them. I use my Instant Pot just because it's really quick and easy. I add about five cups of water and steam it for about three minutes and they come out perfect. Okay, when it's done, go ahead and release the steam. I don't know about you guys, but me and my son both love watching the steam go up after. It's just something we like to do. So. Uh, after it's done releasing all the steam, I go ahead and let it just rest for a minute. While I'm doing that, I get all the um, stuff I use to puree it. Right now my son, he's, he's going to be 10 months old next week and he's transitioning out of purees. He's more having like chunky food. I don't know how you would say it. Like in between solids and purees. So I don't puree his green beans or his vegetables very much. I just kind of do a few few little cycles to where it's um, chopped up really, really fine um, and he can swallow it pretty easily, but he can still kind of practice chewing on it too. So if you guys have a child who's younger than him or is just starting out on purees, you can just add a little bit more water than I do and puree it for longer and that works too. I used to do that when he was first doing purees and it worked out great. The kitchen tool that I use, I will link it down below. It's made by a company called Braun and they make all kinds of stuff but this is like a five-in-one tool it's um, a food processor a um, blender 
um, an immersion blender and a couple other things, a whisk, things like that. So it's really cool. I love it. Um, I'll go ahead and link it down below. There's many uses for it. I've, it's great. Okay, so here we are. It's after I've put Luke to bed and I'm gonna go ahead and get the kitchen cleaned up. I'm gonna start here in the sink. I'm gonna get the dishes all washed, get his bottles sterilized, and I'm gonna go ahead and wash down the kitchen sink. I don't do it every night, but I do love doing it a couple times a week just because I know how much we use the sink and how dirty it gets. Um, and it is really nice to have a nice clean sink afterwards. Alright, time to get the floors cleaned after the kitchen's all nice and cleaned up. I don't know about you guys, but I love mopping my floors. It's kind of therapeutic for me. And I love the way the house smells after the floors are clean. And since my son is constantly on the floor, I am always happy to know that my floors are clean. All right, onto the living room. I'm gonna go ahead and just tidy up a little bit, dust the mantle, clean the coffee table. I hadn't given the coffee table a good scrub down in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a wet uh, microfiber cloth and just give it a good scrub down and go ahead and mop the floors in here as well. Okay, last area that I'm gonna mop is our front entryway hallway. I'm gonna get that cleaned up before I go to bed. And yeah, that'll be the end of the mopping for the day. The absolute last thing I'm gonna do right before I go to bed is put a load of laundry on. Tonight I am washing the rags that I used to clean the house today. I use Tide with Downy as my detergent and I also wash my rags with Lysol laundry sanitizer. I also wash my hospital uniforms in this too. It claims that it kills viruses and bacteria, so I do like to use them on rags especially, but also my uniforms being in the hospital. Um, it's been really hard to find recently. I guess it's because of COVID, but um, I did just find some at Lowe's. So if you guys are interested in Lysol laundry sanitizer and can't find any anywhere, try your local hardware store. Okay, so I didn't get everything done on my list, but I will pick this up tomorrow and we're gonna go ahead and do the window covering first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, so it is the next day because real life, I did not get everything done that I wanted to the day before. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this window film. We had curtains in our bathroom and I just didn't like them, but they were a quick 
easy fix from when we first moved in and I just needed to put this window film on. I had gotten it a while back from Amazon and I needed to do it. I got some other ones from Home Depot that I put on I really didn't like. So I ordered this one from Amazon and I liked it so much better. I will link it down in the description below if you guys are planning on doing anything like this. It's a privacy film um, and it's just, it's nice because it lets some light still, but it's private because this is the window right over my bathtub. So I did watch a few YouTube videos on how to apply this. Um, it's really simple. First, you wipe down or clean your windows with a glass cleaner. I use the Mrs. Myers glass cleaner. And then you take soap and water. So I used Dawn dish soap and water in a spray bottle and get it really, really soapy and wet, the window. And then you go ahead and take the film off of this stuff and go ahead and apply it to the window. It's a little tricky, you gotta play with it a few times and it's held on by static, so it's not gonna leave like adhesive on your window. It's, it's nothing like that. Um, but it is nice, it stays on really well and you just have to kind of play around with it a few times. But I'll let you guys watch the rest of the video and you can see kind of how I did it. I didn't mention before, but you do have to cut it um, to your size window before. They did not have the measurements of my exact window, so I had to kind of cut it into three pieces, which isn't ideal. And looking back, I might actually take that top layer off because you can't really see in from that part anyway. Um, but you know, you can go ahead and measure your window, make sure you find the measurements for your type. So then after you're done getting everything on, uh, stuck on right and squeegeed all the excess water off um, and getting all the bubbles out, um, you go ahead and get your blade cutter or X-Acto knife, whichever you have on hand, and just kind of cut the edges off. This kind of helps it stick to the window better so there's no flapping edges that can kind of drag it out and drag it down. So go ahead and do that. That was really helpful and it was actually really satisfying to cut those edges off. All right, and we got everything done on our list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it brought you some motivation to get stuff done. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, this video is an open collaboration, so click the link in the description box below to see other people's videos that are similar, and just trying to help new YouTubers get started and support each other.